The weather, in theory, getting better out there. People are spending more time outside. Tech companies are looking to make it easier for you to, you know, to have some fun in the sun. Yes, Sydney Tetro is here from Women Tech Council to show us some cool new wearables that can keep us safe as well as record memories. And, uh, Sydney, these are great because we always talk about uh, this world that is changing, growing very quickly. It's an industry that is just booming right now. That's right. It's that intersection of lifestyle and technology. Mm, yeah. right? We covered it when we were thinking about CES, and it just becomes more and more, how does technology get integrated into the those things that are part of every day. It's really getting involved in wearables. So we're headed outside, spring is coming, all sorts of ways to start thinking about. So we brought a few I of them today. I love these shades that we're gonna start with today. Now, what exactly can these things do? So what's really cool about these sunglasses are they record video. So all I have to do mm. is put those sunglasses on, I click one of those buttons, and it just starts capturing video. I'm often thinking about how do you use technology but not have to think about it, right? How do I right. not have to pull up my phone? How do I just capture those moments, whether I'm participating in the game or whether I'm watching my son's baseball or soccer game? It's a really easy way. Put them on. They look like your normal sports sunglasses. You click play and you capture wow. the video. I really like that because you're normally behind your phone looking through it. But here, you're at, you're, you don't have to do that. That's right. It's capturing it for you. Exactly. You kind of <laughs> look like you look good in those. I feel like the Terminator. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> That's right. And the camera is literally right in the center of those two lenses. Okay, so it gets exactly what you're seeing. Exactly. First person perspective, which is a really cool way to look at those. In addition to that, other ways to think about capturing, this is actually another camera device. Don't that break you can, them. No worries, that you can throw in your pocket. And so you literally just put this on your pocket mm -hmm. and you click the button. And again, it records from that same perspective without you having to think about it and in a digital format that is really powerful for just capturing. I don't have my phone out all the time. Right. Don't have to worry about also taking a phone call and capturing. I have a way just to capture those moments. We're going to be outside. We might as well find an easy way for right. it. Lots of trends in this space. I really like this pink thing that you brought. What, what is this right here? <laughs> I love the pink thing, thing too. So one of the things that's really critical, and we've talked about it before, but which is power. Everything that you're taking outside always needs power. So there's always this question of how do I make sure that I'm ready for that? This is one of my favorites. The pocket light. It's super easy. It's super lightweight. I just took it to Thailand when we were there for 10 days. Wow. Charges your phone for three times at a time. So you have plenty of power with you, and you have to make sure you just have it with you. There's almost nothing you, no place you go where you're not going to need power. And Absolutely. And sometimes you can't get to a place where you can have mm -hmm. the, the ability to charge something for That's hours right. and hours. Exactly. Everyone needs that. This is a really, really great option. One now, of my favorite. on the end here looks just like a normal uh, bracelet. Yeah. So this is a really cool one heading into summer. It okay. is a UV detecting bracelet. So you put that bracelet on oh, and it that. detects. You, it asks a whole bunch of profile questions. So there's an app on my phone. It says, okay, what's your skin type? When do you mm. sunburn? And then it allows you to put that bracelet on and then it takes your profile and it basically reminds you what the UV, UV is, it detects that, and then it helps you apply sunscreen so that you stay protected, you and your family. That's a really great thing going into summer. We're always worried about that protection for our kids and ourselves. And the app is really easy. It just pops up on there, gives me a whole bunch of profile information, and then I have the opportunity to click through that and basically protect my family. So we're headed into spring. These are really great options to use technology and just improve your lifestyle. You know, I, I never miss the sunscreen putting it on, but it's the reapplying. The reapplying. And, and right. that is perfect just to remind you, hey, you exactly. might want to do this right now. I've got especially that in Utah, too, mm -hmm. where we are often caught off guard, especially in those winter months with skiing and outdoor right. wintertime activities where you may be getting a lot of UV, a lot of sun damage, and you don't even know it particularly. Exactly. It's a very real thing. So if we can help provide and use technology to protect ourselves and our children when we're out there, it is always the reapplying. I'm at the swimming pool, I'm at the yep. baseball game, I forgot to do yep. it. Yep, happens every time. Well, Sydney, such great ideas. Thanks so much for joining us. We yeah. appreciate it. Good to see you. Coming up.